Hey everyone, it's Adventure Link here. How's it going? Well, if it will be if it was your birthday, congratulations, make it a good one. Would appreciate in advance if you watch this video and all videos I have on YouTube as much as possible, as well as rate, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell button. Don't forget to donate by me and my medical bills. Any amount helps out. It's all links on the video description. And as games for the Grave Estate, it helps keep this channel and myself alive and undead. Okay, it's my wonderful voiceover again. Since I recorded this video, I got a new player with our little video review today. Yay! It's the Vastar model number C4 for mobile phone holders, along with the Tyro tr tripod here. It was made by Bingo Te Network Technology Company LTD. Oh, I already showed off all the specifications on the boxes. Let's go and uh, watch the unboxings of each respective product. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is open up the box on either end. Right, there's a little Amazon sticker there. And after that, the tripod, the phone holder is actually pretty easy. Just take it out of the bag, and you just dump it out on the floor or your bed or something. Yay! The neat thing about this phone holder is that not only should it work on this tripod, it also works on my Flexi tripod. And as you already showed, as I already showed off, the back knob makes the phone go 360 degrees left and right. The upper knob, which is what I'm adjusting right now, is the one that makes the clamp go up and down. You, um, you loosen it up to make the clamp go up, then you loosen up enough to make the phone fit in, then once it's in, you turn it clockwise and clamp it all the way down, and it'll hold securely. And as for the tripod itself, after you get that out of the box, there's this bag here. As you can see, I bought with that bag pretty good here. Obviously, you'd want to undo that little clamp there on the thing. There's a little plastic clamp that holds the drawstring in. Loosen that up, pull that out. Uh, yeah, there's where my little fight came in at. <laughs> Unfortunately, the drawstring caught got caught on one of the releases, lock releases for the tripod legs, so not much really I could do about that. But I'm going to stop my little voiceover and just cut out the rest of this fight because more or less what happened was a big fight. Inside this little plastic bag is our grand prize. Came out much easier, that's for sure. And what did we get? Got an instruction booklet. A silica gel packet. Now it's pretty much purpose. Only put it on your window, on your dashboard of your car. That way it won't fog up so much. There's the tripod itself. And of course we got the little cell phone stand here. Yay. So that's it for the product here. Let's go set it up and try it out. Okay, so this is pretty much the gist of it here. Got these legs. There's three switches. Two, three. Oh, extend it out. Extend the other one out. And, yeah, it's supposed to go up to five feet. That's how you do it. Slow them all down at your appropriate height. And there's that. This, you just extend all the legs out. It'll lock down. Get this out of the way here. Screw your cell phone, and, screw your cell phone stand in here. Use this thing to go up and down, up and down. Okay, so that's my little voiceover again. Just so you know, the first screw that I was messing with, that one right there, that's the one that actually locks your cell phone down into place on the stand. The one that I'm about to show you right now, yeah, that one there, that one locks the pole that goes up and down. And also on the back of this, there's a level here. Pretty cool to have as well. I just discovered as I was screwing this thin. And unlike my little, my little flexo tripod that I used to have, this one actually stays in place and actually screws in, see? I just tighten it out as far as it'll go off cam. This thing's not going anywhere else. That's a good thing. Okay, so as you can see here, I don't quite have a mirror, but this is my phone here with the OtterBox in it. I had to use my TV for this. Actually, fun has a little quick mirror and, and pinches like these, but you can barely see it. You might find that my phone is kind of sort of not in an OtterBox. Yeah. The plastic casing that goes around it, that much will fit. But if you want the case plus the rubber band, uh-uh. It won't go on a Z2 Force. Actually, when I tried to take that phone out of that clip, it wouldn't go at all. I had to fight that out. That's why I got that Vastar stand instead. I recommend it to you as well. Right then. Just so you know, I'm actually holding the tripod. This will actually stand up on its own weight. But for this part of the review, you know, it actually does stack up. If only I didn't have my big fat wallet there on the back of my phone, I could actually fit this the other way just fine. But I actually like my little wallet there on my phone, for reals. 
actually pretty cool. Yeah, the review on this is pretty simple. Just like the original stock holder, it screws in, screws in pretty good. Can't move it no better than this. A little bit. Oh, well, at least it still stays pretty stable here. So I actually recommend this over the stock holder. So yeah, upon further review, replace the stock holder with this mount, please. Especially for using phablets, otter boxes, what have you. Pretty simple review on this clamp. And of course, I had to go and put the clip, the new clip rather, on my little flexi tripod as you can see. It actually fits pretty good here. And it still wants to swivel just like everything else on this tripod here. But at least it fits and at least I can get rid of that old clip here. Or the whole clip on this thing, rather. But I had to end up super gluing together because I broke it. So, yeah. That's that's it for this. For real. Now this is the finished end of the review for this little phone stand here. So, yeah. While I sit here and um, we're going to use the camera on the tripod and the new uh, clip here. Right. I'm just going to sit here and just hold these two boxes in my hand while I finish this review. So, what do I think about this tie road? tripod and this vast star clamp they're both actually pretty good products i love them you'll expect to see both of these products in future youtube videos well not necessarily get to see them but they'll be behind the scenes unless i put mirrors in front of them to show it off again <laughs> or film a secret behind the scenes video if this gets popular or something <laughs> but yeah like i said this is all these three arms here. You unclamp the three arms, extend it out, extend each arm out fully or attract it partially as you want. Push up to unlock, push down to relock, and there's a nice little level on there as well. Pretty pretty nifty when you want to get make sure you got a nice level shot with your phone and all that good stuff. And the prices are right on both of these are actually good prices. The tripod here is 20 bucks. This clamp is $7.49 or thereabouts on both products. Both can be had on your Amazon Prime. Just so you know, once again, I got this on a discount, but there wasn't any kind of a review requirement, but I did one anyway. This, on the other hand, I bought 100% out of my own pocket. Let's put it like this. I'm getting tired of these little stock phone holders crushing my phone, and in this case, actually crushing a little otter box in with at least a plastic shell so bad I had a lot of trouble getting it out of the stock holder. Yeah, I got the back part and the phone out fine, but the other half, Nick wanted to put up a little bit of a fight. Let's give it like that. I was getting sick of it, getting sick of dealing with this, this crap, so there it is. That's why I bought this at full price. I recommend this tripod fully, but get this clip instead and use it from now on on all your tripods, especially if you have a phablet. Yeah, like the Samsung Mega Series, Note Series, iPhone Pluses, Moto Z2 Force, anything like that. Please, for the love of YouTube and all that is holy, this will be your best friend in these situations, especially with otter boxes. And with both of these together, you get one kick butt tripod, I tell you what. Yay! This gets five stars automatically from me. I love this thing. And this also gets my four and a half stars as well mostly because of the stock clip because they still won't fit bigger phones i mean what is this 2013 the same the early 2010s where everyone had little pine sized phones like five inch phones are you know becoming the norm and wider phones as well so please keep up with the times people they do this unfortunately doesn't so this has been my review on the vast star clamp here that's again this is a product model c4 mobile and this the Tridad tripod made by Bingo Network Technology Company LTD. I'm Adventure Link. Thanks for watching. Preferably to the end of this video. Be sure to share this video with your friends, family, mobile phone, video filmers such as myself, anyone else that will be interested in both these tripods or this tripod and this clamp or something. Please get the word out all the same. It's appreciated. So this has been Adventure Link. We're going to sign off this video with a wise word of wisdom from Eric DeCarga, reminding everyone to be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. See y'all next time. Have a nice day. Have a good one.